फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय सेल्फ हर्षिका दिस इज माय न्यू वीडियो ऑन अ कुंडलिनी गॉडेस ऑफ रीबर्थ सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ मदर कुंडलिनी दिस इज अ डिस्क्रिप्शन इज इज अवेलेबल इन अ तंत्रा मींस आई एम अ स्पिरिचुअल टीचर ऑफ तंत्रा सो वट तंत्रा से इज अबाउट मदर कुंडलिनी वट इज अ रीबर्थ हाउ मदर कुंडलिनी इज कनेक्टेड विद अ प्रोसेस ऑफ रीबर्थ so we are going in a deep explanation of mother kundalini because there is a lots of information are available on a internet if you go through uh, the search of kundalini there is a lots of things there is a lots of negative things there is a lots of positive thing but what is the truth because the words like kundalini chakras are coming from a tantra they are the sanskrit word they are not the some like a spanish france or the english word they are the sanskrit word so in this video i i i explain about what the ancient text or what the spiritual tantra because tantra is something which is connected with a mystical science which is connected with the octal sign this is a one of the most disciplined spiritual practice so let's get started with the, in this video now before understanding the rebirth process you know what is a rebirth we have to understand if we have to understand uh, in a human cycle there is a multiple life cycles this is not your first incarnation there is a many people who are watching this video you are coming from multiple incarnations means they you you just not having this human lifetime you have a previous lifetime previous many lifetimes means in the past lifetime maybe your king maybe your doctor and you are again and again incarnating so in a human life you are just getting a birth from your biological mother you know the womb of your biological mother in this biological when you incarnated in um, in a physical form you are getting a biological dna we have a two types of dna inside first is our etheric dna our soul dna which is a different from a different different humans because some coming some are the star seeds some are the hybrids and some are the normal human soul so we have a two types of uh, dna first is our etheric dna which is a soul dna second is our biological dna this dna you are getting from your biological father and biological mother and the human biological dna is a 90% junk means this dna is a non coding dna there is a no histamine coding in this dna so this dna is completely filled with a dead energy the dead energy is something like a sewage energy it's something like a broken grass when a grass when a glass is broken you know in a pieces so that kind of ex excessive pain in this energy this dna is completely filled the ancestor programming the programming about the religion how you are living your lifestyle how the family relationship should be how is your culture the difference between the male and the female the genetics stereotypes same way this dna is completely filled with the curses there is a different different type of curses in your biological dna the curse of poverty means every single time you are just you yeah, doing lots and lots of hard work but you are only getting the 10% or the 50% of the result so maybe there is a curse in your biological dna that's why those people who are suddenly winning the lottery but after some time you know after one year or a few months they are just going their backward stage of the poverty same way inheritance the inheritance curses or the generation curses means the curse of true love you are not getting married with your divine partner because you have curse the curse of backwardness the curse of diversion every time you are trying your best to moving forward but you are automatically just uh, back with uh, just going back with your stage so this is a curse of backwardness this is a curse of diversion these are all the generation curses which which is filled in your biological dna and this is not just coming from your uh, like upcoming like your past generation only your mother and father they are coming from your past generation past 12 generation means your great grand uh, father or great grandmother means dada or dadi same way 
the inheritance karma means if your ancestor up to 12th generation are doing any type of karma means they are killing someone they are stolen someone they are betraying someone they are just doing a fraud so these are the curses or maybe they are doing the sexual harassment to someone so these are the karma karmas which is flowing from the one to next to next generation this is an inheritance karma same way that they there is a transgeneration traumas so the transgeneration traumas is a traumas is also coming from one to next to next generation means there is if your ancestor is suffering any kind of physical emotional mental abuse any kind of harassment so these traumas is also coming in your dna so this biological dna is filled with the uh, with the karmas the heavy karma and this uh, dna is also filled with the disease this disease can be a physical emotional mental spiritual can be a uh, different type of genetical disease for example you can see if you have a teeth disorder maybe your teeth is uh, disorder is a genetical you can see in your family tree you only the you are the only person who suffer from cavity or the other family members is suffer so there is a lots of genetic disorder which is coming from your biological dna same way astral parasite and alien implants and a heavy load loaded vimasic pa pattern in this dna so when you incarnated in a human form you have a heavy burden of your ancestor karma in your biological dna you have a karma of uh, you have a sexual karma means if in this life cycle you are just physically intimate with with a someone so you are building a astral god with this person so there is a sexual karma because sex is not just for pleasure sex can create a bond and sex can also create a bondage so this is a sexual karma same way you have your personal karma means in this past lifetime you have a so many karmas so because of all this heavy karmic baggage there most of the humans there is a 90% of a humans is totally unawakened unconsciousness there is no natural awakening means they have to do a lots and lots of uh, means spiritual practice then the kundalini is going to be awakened so there is no Uh, no natural awakening most of the human are totally disconnected with their higher spirit self so there is a no soul purpose there is a no life person most of the people are don't even know the soul is exist or not they don't even feel their souls so the programming of the biological human dna it's it's almost like 3d ego reality means only focus in a physical pleasure like in a in a in a money in a in a sex in a children's so only focus in a ego based desire that's the programming of a biological dna so next things you have to learn is now how these things are connected with the ascension journey or awakening of the mother kundalini so mother kundalini is a divine mother she is the only mother who gives a rebirth means the mother kundalini can give a rebirth i explain there is a many lifetime there is a many karmic baggages you always have or you always going in a cycle of a birth a birth and death you know every every single lifetime humans getting a birth just completing their education getting a job married sex children's and waiting for a death so this is a cycle you again and again this cycle is going but no one can completely cut this cycle and get a rebirth so getting a rebirth you have to activate mother kundalini inside because the rebirth what is a rebirth rebirth is not something like you are merging with us with a higher souls and and your soul is going to be a no exits no the rebirth is a something when your all karmic cycle is going to be ended and you your soul is free because right now you are your soul is bounded with the planet earth now to getting a rebirth your soul getting a transformation your three, your 3d human soul is transforming into a 12d angelic soul this is a rebirth and this rebirth is only giving by the mother kundalini and in a tantra tantra says kundalini is a goddess she is a divine mother we can call her a ma 
she is a adi para shakti means the mother of universe the entire universes are born by her you know the universe the infinite universe and the all codes like the ascension code 11444 are coming from the universe so kundalini is a divine mother so everything is born by mother womb like in a, in a human self everyone is born by the mother by the blood of the mother no one is uh, is born by the father blood everyone is coming from the mother womb same way universe is getting the birth from the mother womb so there is a cosmic womb which is known as hiranyagar the golden egg so in this golden egg everything is created so that's why she is present in all individual in a form of Kundalini, the goddess of rebirth. If you actually experience Kundalini, if you completed your Kundalini ascension journey, means this is your last incarnation in a earth. You are no longer incarnated in this planet. Means after this lifetime, you are transforming into a higher celestial being. You are transforming into a human angelic self or if you are a light if you are a star seed, you are going back to your planet. So this is a rebirth. Means now the all past cycle is going to be ended and a new birth of yours, new soul birth is only happen by the awakening of Mother Kudli. So there is a three form of a divine mother. Means the Adi Parashakti is in a three forms. The first form is a form of destroyer, the goddess of death is a form of Ma Mahakali means the color of the goddess Kali is completely dark means the dark is a color when every single color is going inside and completely merged because when when you put it a green blue anything in a black the color of black is not going to be changed every color is absorbed by the black color so that's why the universe is dark if you outer if you going out there is outer going sorry if you're going out with the earth there is a darkness so the color of goddess means goddess kali is a is a goddess of death and destruction death is the important part she is also known as a endings and new beginnings the goddess of ending and new beginning because if because without end there is no new beginning the second form of the adi para shakti is a goddess of creation means the goddess of makamakya the goddess of love, sex and desire. Kama means the desire. When you desire something, then you are going to be created. If you don't have a desire, nothing will create it. So she is a goddess of love. The love between the man and a woman. The love between the masculine and feminine. And because of the love of the masculine and feminine, the new life is created. So she is in a creative form. She is in a destroyer form. And the third form of the goddess is a kundalini. She is an individual mother. She is present in all individual. Means mother Kundalini is not going to be a different shade. Means they are not going to be a different shade between a age, community, color, religion, nothing. Everyone is a child in a mother in, in the eye of goddess. So she is an individual mother uh, in a which is known as Kundalini and she is present in all individual in in a serpent form in a sleeping form she is present in all individual in a root chakra energy but it's depend upon the individual how you awaken because she is in a sleeping goddess and it's, it's depend upon it depends upon your individual spiritual practice your discipline spiritual practice how you awaken her because she is the only goddess who gives a rebirth that's a truth So the Tantra says Kundalini is a Ma Kundalini. She is a goddess of birth, rebirth. Means when she awaken, she can end your all karma. She can burn your all, all, all karma. She can break your all generation curses, all type of spoken, un unspoken, like a spell casting curses and gives you the rebirth. So the Kundalini ascension journey is not the cup of the uh, it's not a cup of tea. It's it's not about the sexual pleasure because many of many uh, many teachers is connected tantra with the sex. So it's nothing connected with the sexual energy. 
it's it's uh, not connected with the some dark practice so kundalini ascension journey it's actually a longest and toughest spiritual journey of rebirth so in this journey your 3d human self is transforming into a 12g angelic self so this is a rebirth and the mother kundalini is a goddess who gives a bhog and moksha together means the bhoga means a satisfaction you will get a emotional mental physical and a spiritual satisfaction your true desire and wishes are going to be a fulfilled fulfilled means amma kundalini gives you the marital blessing the fertility kids name money everything that's why when your kundalini start awaken you are attracting your divine partner in your life that's why twin flame kundalini that's why when you meet your divine counterpart your kundalini is awaken because this is a blessing of mother kundalini the bhog the bhog means she she can fulfill all your desire your true heart based desire this desire is not the ego based desire this is your soul desire your heart based desire the so that's why she bless you with your divine partner to to marry with your twin flame in this lifetime if you actually complete the ascension journey second the mother kundalini can gives the moksha the moksha is a liberation means now your soul is free from all baggages and there is a stages of moksha means the first stage is a stage of the purification process you are going to be a deep cleansing and a detoxification process there is a second process is a is a healing traumas when the mother kundalini is activated inside you every every single work is done by her she can heal your inner traumas healing your inner child trauma healing your sexual trauma healing all types of abuse you are which you are holding inside she can heal the spiritual disease she can heal the biological disease as well so the activation of light body she can activate your higher monad self she can activate your higher avatar self and create the soul reunion means the reunion of your soul spirit monad it's like the recreating your markhabic field when the mother kundalini is awakened she can start working in all level means she can working in your emotional mental physical in a spiritual level she can start doing a healing work she can start doing a purification work she can reactivate or recreating your markhabic field the actual union of ingla and pingla nadi the union of your left and right hemisphere of your brain the stage of the non duality is the is created by mother kundalini because the kundalini it's a, it's like a tree of life means she and the markhaba is also known as a tree of life so she is a goddess which gives you the rebirth but also gives you the satisfaction so the mother kundalini is a goddess which give a bhog and moksha together means there is a satisfaction and a soul liberation together that's why when the kundalini is awaken you are attracting the divine partner because your frequency is going to be a change you are attracting your twin flame in this lifetime and if you that's why you when you meet your twin flame in this lifetime your divine partner your sudden awakening is started and remember this ascension journey is a very very hard type of journey you have to complete the 15 stages of the kundalini ascension journey and you have to understand that this is one of the most disciplined and very hard type of spiritual practice there is a many teacher who are just just doing a wrong information about divine mother she can say you cannot control her Uh, they are teaching you can uh, if you are awaken kundalini if you don't control her you are going to be a insane or the mother kundalini is going to be a hurt some are saying they she is a evil so all these information are just misleading because no one wants uh, no one wants to see your soul transformation no one wants to see you a change you you get a rebirth so this is all the misleading information in the internet so it's up to you it depends upon your consciousness level how you pick the things so this is my video on a kundalini the goddess of rebirth if you like this video please do like and comment 
and share my videos if you if you want to support my work you can support in a patreon if you want to learn how to awaken kundalini so you can email me if you want readings or guidance about your twin flame journey star seed journey ascension code anything you can email me so thank you so much for watching and my book is also available in amazon kindle if you want you can you can get a more information in my book so thank you so much for watching